um, carpet deodorizer that also doubles as scrubbing powder. And then we're going to turn it into toilet bowl cleaner and heavy scouring powder. And it's not going to take very long. Now, I don't have um, as much baking soda as I thought I did, but this is one half a cup baking soda. You just dump it in your drawer, in your bowl. And you take your essential oil. I'm using a lemon, organic lemon, and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drops. Now you don't have to be exact on that. If you like it a little bit stronger, just go right ahead and make it a bit stronger. If you don't like it so strong, or if you don't even like any, you can take it out. Generally, the more you have in it, the stronger it's going to be, especially if you're making um, carpet deodorizer. You might want to make it a little bit stronger for that. Mix it up. Another way you can do this is to put it straight into your bowl. I usually like to make this stuff in a yogurt container, but I didn't have any, so I'm just, I just mix it straight up into a bowl, and I'm going to put it into a little Tupperware container that I have. And that's it. I'll have to um, do it this way because it's not going to pour in that easily. That's why it's kind of nice to mix it straight into your container. And then what I was going to say is you can then just shake it up right in, in your container. And that works very well. So there you go. Scrubbing powder, carpet deodorizer right here. Took, I'm not sure, not very long. For the toilet bowl cleaner. Now actually what I usually would do is just make a cup batch and then throw half a cup in or make it in my container and then take a half a cup out. But um, I wasn't sure how much baking soda I had so I didn't do it that way. So here we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe eleven. If you're hearing some bumps, uh, we're having a big melt. <laughs> it is the end of April and we had snow the other day and um, it's all melting right now. So uh, that is the snow falling off of our roof in April. Now here we go. There is um, our baking soda and our essential oil portion. And we just need to add one half a cup of citric acid, which I have in my bag here. One half a cup. Pop it in there. Give it another little stir. Now, one thing you should know when you're mixing up your citric acid or anytime you're using it, try not to breathe it because it will irritate your nose and your lungs and your eyes. Don't get it in your eyes. And don't get it on any open cuts that you might have. It's made, uh, it's a citric, um, extract type of product so it is not toxic but it does sting kind of like if you're peeling an orange with a cut on your hand so here we go that is our toilet bowl cleaner all you need to do is just sprinkle that into your toilet and scrub your toilet it'll fizz let it sit for about a half an hour 15 minutes even I usually do give it another little scrub and that's it and um, now we can make our our scouring powder. I'm just going to use the same stuff here rather than put it in another bowl. If you wanted to, you could just put that in a bowl and then make up another one. Oh, this dog is going to start barking because I think my kids just got home. I was trying to get this done first, but my batteries on my camera would not work for me. <laughs> so I had to charge them. And um, so I'm just hitting it right on time before they get home. Okay, don't bark. Shh. Okay, stop. I'm going to have to go put her. Come here. There you go. Come on. There you go. There. She can bark outside. Now, that was easy. That would have taken less time if I didn't have to stop. But hey, you can uh, put your dog out and it still doesn't take very long. Now, this makes a scrubbier obviously, type of powder. And um, you can use this on your stove. I wanted to show you actually how to make a paste. So I'm going to take a half a cup of this and throw it into another bowl. I've got one sitting right here. Okay, 
kids don't know I'm doing this, so they're probably going to be talking until I tell them. And then they'll go, oh. So we have to pour in one cup or one quarter of a cup of glycerin. Goes Robin, do you want to see her? No. <laughs> and all you have to now glycerin is water based, so it is just like using water, only it doesn't make the um, baking soda and the citric acid go fizzy. It's the water that does that. But what it will do is give you a nice paste that you can use. And um, so if you, if you like to use more of a cream type cleanser or a paste, you can use this. The, the glycerin is really sticky. So when you mix it all up together, it, it basically just forms a paste. I tried this on my stove and it worked really well. All I did was um, basically mix it up like this and then just took a glump and it's, as you can see, sticky and it um, just glumps together, put it on and rubbed it in and it worked really well. And then for a little bit of extra power, you can um, add a little bit of water. I've got a squirt bottle right here that I use so that you might be able to see how it, it will start foaming when you put water on it. You might not be able to see it. Get a little closer. You'll be able to see it on the sides. I'm going to be making another video and it will show you a little better about the fizzing there. You can see it on the sides and hear it. And that gives you a little bit of extra cleaning power. It helps to lift the dirt off and it works pretty good. If you'd like more in information and recipes to make your own non-toxic natural green home cleaning products, you can go to www.skincarenaturals.com slash green and clean and you can pick up your real green cleaning guide there as well as your own green cleaning kit if you would like, that includes all of these ingredients that I've been using here as well as the mint um, home cleaning bar and you can make your own liquid soap with that as well as your own um, sink cleaner. It works great for stainless steel. I use it all the time around my house. And um, the focus for that for me is simple, fast and easy. As you can see, it's very easy to make your own stuff. It does not have to be complicated at all. You can do it in a couple of minutes grab and go get your house clean and then you can get on with all the other stuff that you like to do and you don't have to use all that toxic stuff that just pollutes the world and makes everything dirtier when you think about it. So come on down to www.skincarenaturals.com slash green and clean and come and see me there.